Yes, yes. And I mean, I, I'm very, I'm not surprised in his case. I mean, like he said, you know, he got friends, calls from his friends, calls from people saying, you know, is this the girl? And of course, he's, I guess, he's already told people that he cut somebody out or whatever. Um, and so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not surprised that he would deny that. Of course, it's assault, it's assault it's simple assault. Of course, you would deny those things, of course. Um, but again, you know, the people in the store, you know, the, we have witnesses. They're wit they, they're they're willing to um, be a witness in court, and we have our statements. We have our stuff, in, and at the end of the day, you know, he has to live with himself. So I am not in any in the least bit um, at all repelled or think that he would not get out here and lie. I mean, even in his statements of trying to tell his uh, truth, I guess he lied. He said, "Oh, I didn't call you sob." But then you admitted that you called me a lazy SOB. So, you, you, oh, all I did was call you a lazy SOB. But then you say you didn't call me. So, he's going to lie. That's normal. Seeing him again today, a lot of emotions. Oh, yeah. It was a lot of emotions. Um, I, I, you know, I really, you know, I didn't curse at him. I didn't, you know, you know, treat him like he made me feel. But I wanted him to know exactly how he made me feel and, and, and how needs to be held accountable because people can't just go out in public areas and berate pregnant women whether it's because I was pregnant whether it's because I was black whether it's because whatever he did he it doesn't matter he cannot go and just cut somebody out and take matters into his own hands because he's mad about groceries you cannot do that without suffering the consequences and we are making an example out of him um we know we saw it in the video, but just walk us through what you say happened in the public, what you said to you. Pretty much, he, um, I never saw the guy in the public. I, and, and when I was grocery shopping or pulling my groceries out of the, you know, to get him registered, um, he just came to me and he said, you know, you had 20 items in a 10 item lane. And I said, sir, I'm sorry, I'm pregnant <laughs> and I'm not much pregnant and I can't stand for long periods of time. And he said, no, you're a lazy, that's what you are. You're a lazy SOB. And I said, you don't know me. That's what I told him. I said, you do not know me. You don't know me. You don't know um, me to even say those things. And that's when he started really going going in. And I and I said, uh, no, I do know you. I or, or not me, or I do know you people. I, you're ignorant. He called me, he's ignorant. And uh, a, piece of, a piece of, you know, S-I-T, S-H-I-T. And, and so, you know, and even from the camera, and I'm ready for the cameras to be released, you can see that he didn't stop at Lazy SOB and walk away. You can see that in the camera. The, the manager have already confirmed that he didn't stop there and walk away. You can obviously see he stayed for a longer period of time and was saying things to me. Um, at the end of the day, the truth always comes out. Um, my daughter was standing there. She had her own groceries. We're teaching her how to, you know, purchase her little items too. What he didn't know is that I had 11 items. My daughter had a couple more items. And even if I did have 20 items, it doesn't even matter. You you have no right to call anybody out of their name. You know, you have no right to approach somebody. And I'm even appalled at what his statement said, that the, the lady told him to approach me. So, I mean, that's even worse now um, that that's coming out. If he's telling the truth, because he's probably lying, like he's lying about everything else. But the fact that he said, store policy, we can't do anything, but you can go say something to her. So the fact that he said that makes me even more angry because I can't believe that somebody in the store would push him to coming up to me and approaching uh, a nine months pregnant woman. And you said he made comments about go back to you. Yeah, he made all these comments, and I told him, and, and you can see me. I don't know if he, him in the thing. I told him, no, you you go back, you leave, you go, you go, you leave. That's my stop. That's what my statements was to him after he tried to break me. I said, you go, you leave, and you can see my hand in the camera doing like this go leave leave me alone never did I say any choice words to him never did I cuss him out I said nothing but leave me alone and I'm nine months pregnant that was all I said nothing to incite him to, to, to hate or bigotry or whatever he says you know that he said or didn't say did any employees get involved or how did everything so end? at the end um, it was really just me telling him to leave I looked around I didn't see any security I told him to leave at the end it was one lady that was telling him, one one employee that said, leave, 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 leave. And that's when he left. What were his exact words as far as um, 
go back to where you came from. He said those exact words. Well, like I said, I mean, like I, I, I know what I don't I know what he said. He said go back, you know, those types of words. I don't want to say he, he said go back to your country or go back to where he came from, but he was making those types of references. Is what I remember. You just don't want to make the exact words. No, 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 definitely not. But I know it was go back because I know I told him go back because I know after he told me I said you go back and I said go go go. So tell me what your nine year old daughter said when all this was happening. What well. You know, she definitely couldn't believe what was going on. You know, she was so excited to do her first purchase, you know, at, at, at Publix. And, you know, she it, it, it ruined her, her experience. You know, she was, you know, like, why would he, what is the SOB, mom? What is that? You know, and I'm sitting here explaining to her, Dakota, some people have hate in their heart. This man had no reason. We, you know, we don't, you know, and we don't, we're not going to incite hate. We're not going to give him what he wants. Let's go. Let's put the groceries in the car. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Where do you go from here? You filed a report? Oh you? yeah, so we filed a police report and obviously he's here. We have a pictures of him. We have a picture of him. I'll be getting giving that to the police. Now that that is out here, um, we have, every, I'm guessing you all have his first and last name. I will be giving that to the police. Um, I thought we were gonna have to wait to get the camera footage so that we can get it to him. But now that he's showing up because people are showing out on him, now he's showing up. So now that we have his information, we will be giving it to the police. You had said in your post that you felt like um, these were racist remarks made. Oh, definitely. Uh, definitely. Because um, why am I a lesbian SOB? Why am I ignorant? Why would you say, oh, no, I know you people. Why would you say that? You don't, you don't, what, you people, what is that? For you to say, oh, you're Cuban or whatever. It doesn't matter if you're Cuban or whatever. You don't speak to anybody. You understand what I'm saying? So, yes, I do think that his remarks were inciting. And I think that he felt like he had the authority to come up to me like he was an authoritative figure and to tell me what he felt. And I feel like that was incited by hate. And I do believe that that was a hate crime. I don't know what else would incite someone to just walk up on a pregnant woman and, and just go off on her. So I do believe that it was incited by hate to the core. And we have to make an example out of this man because there's so many people that don't have, that don't wouldn't call the news because they're scared or wouldn't call, you know, uh, anybody because they don't know what to do, would have just left their groceries there and walked out. But because I had the courage to be able to do this, not for political, not for anything, just because I had the courage to do this, now he wants to come back. This man, if he was never on CBS 46, he would never have come back and apologized. The only reason why he came back is because someone saw it on the internet and his friends were calling him telling him why would you do this or did you do this just like he said on camera it's the only reason why this man is here and we're not going to give him what he wants he needs to be arrested he says he has a relationship with the manager did you and he says that he came here maybe that's why she, well, well, i don't know what manager i don't know what re relationship he has with the manager i don't know the man. i have no idea maybe that's why the person took so long to come up to me maybe they have a relationship i don't know but at the end of the day everybody needs to be held accountable I don't care if it's a relationship with a manager that has no reason and no fault for you to come up to me. And I'm telling you, the first thing that came out of my mouth is, sir, I'm sorry, I'm not much pregnant. And after that, you still go in on me. That is no reason I don't care if you have a relationship with a manager. I have a relationship with God. And I know that's why I was peaceful and I walked out of there and, and, and made sure that I got to my, because I feared for my life. I walked out of there, got in my car and drove straight home and then called the police. Do you believe anything he says? Because he says that if you represent his district, you probably vote for him. Do you believe anything he says? You know what? I don't. I don't know. It, 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 you know, and that that makes it even a worse a worse ordeal. You know, so if he did vote for me or if he didn't, people will say he'll say anything at this point in time to get the heat off of him. So if he voted for me, thank you for your vote, sir. But I still would like an apology that you cannot give me for calling me what you call me out of your name. And you still have assaulted me, and therefore there's a consequences to being assaulted. So at the end of the day, if he voted for me, that's fine. You know, whatever he is, he lives in my district, yes. And I love all of my constituents that live in my district, and I treat them all the same. And I wouldn't want anybody to be, to be called out of their name and to be berated at nine months pregnant. Like, like I would represent them. I would stand out here with them. Like I've stand out here with anybody else in my in my constituency before. I'm standing out here and standing up for me and my unborn child and my daughter. So whether he lives in my district or if he voted for me, that does not degrade the fact the words that he said to me. Last thing, um, you know, uh, 
I was looking at all the comments on Twitter and Facebook when you posted your video. And of course, a lot of people, when they saw the post about, you know, go back to where you came from, mm -hmm. immediately they're thinking of um, the president's comments mm -hmm. and um, what was made at the time. Mm -hmm. Just recently, I th those were most of the comments that I saw. Uh -huh. That was what stuck out to people. What, what do you say to that? Do you? I would say that racism and hate has been in this country for forever. I would say that this is not the beginning. I, I grew up in a racist town. That's why I think I was able to be able to be like, you know what, I, I've been called the N-word. I've been called, you know, in my, in my 10th grade year, the KKK Marshall Horses around my uh, around my uh, high school uh, on Martin Luther King Day. I've been through this before. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, this has happened. This happens all the time. But right now, because of, of what's going on at the top, and because everybody is getting away with it and saying what they want to say and, 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 and getting away with these things, I believe that people feel like they, on both, I don't, on both sides, like they say on both sides, anybody, it doesn't matter if you voted for a Democrat, if you voted for me, you still feel like you can get out there and call me names and call me out of my character. That is wrong and that is hate. Yes, I do believe that it's incited from the top and whether people have been holding it in or whether they've been letting it out or whatever. But at this moment in time, I think that this is, this is a history of hate, no matter what. Maybe you hate me because I'm, I'm darker than you. Maybe you might be brown. You might hate me because I'm darker than you. You might hate me because I have on a plan, I had a Planned Parenthood shirt on. Whatever it might have been, that was hate is what that was. Because there would be no reason that I could say that a man would stand there and just berate a pregnant woman and feel like it's okay. Just like today, he felt like it was still okay and that I'm still a, a SOB. Just like he said today, he did not apologize and he does not apologize for anything he said. Only things that he doesn't want to get out there are the things that people will not let him walk in the grocery store freely for or walk, walk down the street freely for. That's the only reason why this man came out today. And you know what? At the end of the day, he's going to get what's due to him. What do you think is due to him? I think that he needs to, he definitely needs to be brought up on charges. Definitely. There's no other way. You can't you can't run up on people. You can't just you can't get in people's personal space. You can't yell at people. You cannot do those say the hate things that you said to me. You cannot curse at people and do all that and say, "Hey, like today you said, but you still are SOB." But why am I SOB because I had 20 items in a 10 item lane? It's deeper than that. It's a deeper hate. It's a deeper something inside of him that made him walk up on him. And you said you want to see him in jail. Oh, definitely. 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 He can't just walk free. He can't just walk free on these streets because this man, as you can see today, still believes that it was okay when he did it. Everything was okay. When you're a, a state legislator. What about his First Amendment right to, to free speech? So there's a difference between... Uh, a First Amendment right to, I mean, we can't just go willy-nilly saying we have a First Amendment right to, to free speech and, and, uh, and just parade someone that is simply harassment. There's a difference between free speech and harassment, and that was harassment, especially when I'm sitting here telling you, leave me alone. Leave. Go. Go. And this is what you see from the camera. Go. 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 That is harassment and simple. So that is, that is a simple assault right there. That's a difference between freedom of speech. I'm all about freedom of speech. I'm all about people speaking their peace, just like I'm speaking my peace right now. Have you seen the footage? I have not seen the footage yet. I've just heard from what the manager has told me, and and that's it. Do you know if there's audio or if it's just video? Um, no, it's just video. What has the manager told you? Well, they're investigating it internally because, of course, you know, as they saw on the video, too much time went past for someone to have not came up to me. So the person that, uh, that, of course, they're investigating, of course, the person that, you know, people that were in the store that did nothing um, until the very end when I'm sitting here trying to defend myself and telling him to leave. So that and um, I think that, again, like I said, the the store, people in the store, of course, they've already said that my story collaborates with, that's what the manager called me last night and told me, that what I said collaborates with what the cashiers and the people that were there said and that, that they so that and they're very sorry. Were there cashiers that said they heard him say go back to where you came from? I didn't interview the um, the cashiers personally, ma'am. But they, if, if she said that they collaborated with what I said, then it's a that I'm pretty sure that they said yes, he did say all of those things. So public, uh, they they just said they're investigating. So they, they yes, 
Well, they said that the, that the cashiers collaborated with what I said. So, and they're willing to testify in court. So that speaks a lot. You know, if he, people are willing to testify in court, he can say whatever he wants to say. But at the end of the day, we're holding him accountable. Thank you. Oh, thank you.